If you've ever thought about buying a vacation property rental, then you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this interview. I'm Shane Inman with Remax Estate Properties, and today I'm here with Kirsten Green, and we're gonna get an in-depth look at what it's like to own a vacation property and rent it out. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Let's get a little back history on what you guys thought about when you were purchasing the property, how long you've had it, and where it is. The property's in Big Bear, California, and we purchased it about 11 years ago, I'd say. And um, the background was, you know, we wanted to, we live in the South Bay and we wanted to have a place to go that was, we had young children, so close enough to home, which is Big Bear is about two hours, to get away from the South Bay, get up into the snow. We're an active family, so really interested in skiing. And then Big Bear has, in the summertime, tons of running trails and great places to explore. A Big Bear is a great opportunity for investment rental properties. With searching for a vacation property rental, people are are always concerned. Uh, they just want to see if that is a good financial decision and so I thought today we could kind of go over what some of the behind the scenes details are to owning a property that people might not necessarily think about. So what type of renting do you have your property as? So as of right now, we um, basically have a property manager. It is, I would say, purely a vacation, vacation rental. Uh, it's listed on the property man management's website as well as Airbnb, VRBO, it used to be Home Away, whatever different search engines basically are, are up and coming, she puts it on there and she rents it in multiple ways. Because when we purchased the property, we decided we wanted it to be our vacation place too, so that we're able to block it out as owners and use it when we want to use it. It was not purely an income property. It was a vacation property for us. And the bonus was when we weren't using it, trying to rent it to other people to recoup some of the costs and hopefully pay some of the mortgage on that property. How many days a year would you say on average it's rented out? Well, I think as a vacation or second property owner, you have to be mindful of, like you said, it is a very seasonal property. We're about 400 meters from Snow Summit, so it basically is a skiing property. So when you look at that, you're looking at only a couple of months out of the year that it has a high rental rate. And of course, those are also the weekends as an owner that we want to use it. So virtually in the summertime, it rarely rents. You know, you're really looking at high, high rentals for about three months. You're paying the property management company year round? Every time it rents. Every time it rents. So it is pretty much the going rate up in Big Bear is about 30%. So basically out of every rental, they take their 30% cut on that. Pretty much covers, we, we've worked with two different property management companies. Uh, they're all fairly similar. Uh, they organize all the bookings, all the cleanings, um, any types of small repairs that need to happen on the property. The majority of issues that happen, they're able to jump in and take care of. Uh, of course, you could do it on your own through yeah. Airbnb or VRBO or whatnot, but uh, the number of potential people to clean houses up there are pretty much being utilized by the property management companies. What we end up doing is over Christmas, New Year's, it's a minimum four or five day rental. So we wanna get someone in there for a longer period of time. We also want to do that to minimize the wear and tear on our property. Where do you price your property? And we've made a, a conscious decision to price it on the higher end and maybe get a few less people that come through, but that will stay longer. And um, it keeps the property nice and there's way less repairs. And the lower you price it, the more turnover and the more issues we, that, that we, we figured we'd have. We went in with the mindset that we wanted to use it and we were fully prepared to be able to cover all expensive expenses if need be. It's early, early on, we were not in a situation that we had, it, had to have it rent a certain amount of times in order for us to keep the property. New home owners that are gonna buy you know, vacation rentals should think about is, it is so unpredictable. You need to be financially prepared if it doesn't rent. Our first agent that we, we used on our very first home always taught us location, location, location. And I would I pass that on to anybody that I know that's buying property. We have bought 
some smaller size properties or properties that need work or, or things that weren't exactly perfect for us, but we knew that the location over time was gonna just sell, we just could sell the property no problem if we needed to based on location. And I think that's, that's a really big piece of advice, yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much for the time and I think people have a better idea of what it's like to own and operate an investment rental property. Thanks for having me, Shane, thanks. In Southern California, Big Bear and Palm Springs are popular vacation property rental sites. If you're interested in either of those areas, click the link below and receive a list of new hot properties in that area.